Today we are looking at the Ubuntu Linux 25.04. The code name is a Plucky Pluffin with the XFCE Desktop Environment 4.20, which is the latest version. If you didn't know about the XFCE 4.20, I already made uh, all the videos on the 4.20. And the kernel version you are seeing is the 6.11. You don't get the 6.12.6, .6, which is the latest version right now. And also the windowing system, you should be seeing the X11. So I already made the Ubuntu 25.04 uh, video and also the Kubuntu. So I mentioned everything in the video of Ubuntu 25.0, the release date and all the years, uh, how many years of uh, support you get and everything in this video. So if you want to check it out, you can check it out. In the, uh, in the Ubuntu 25.04, I'm just going to show you all the resources and uh, all the new features. I'm not going to discuss about the release date or anything like that because I already mentioned everything in the Ubuntu 25.04. So I'm just going to go with the all the features or whatever the changes uh, happened in this video. And uh, here you can see all the information. It's a 64 bit distributor Ubuntu and GTK version. You get the 3.24.43. So this is all the information. My CPU is i5 1240p. I'm using 8 GB of RAM. Here is the LLVM pipe and everything about. So I'm just going to close everything. And about the task manager, I already installed the fast fetch. So I installed the fast fetch. So it's going to consume a bit of uh, more resource there. In the beginning, it was consuming around like a 1.5 GB. Usually the XFC consumes like a 1.1 GB in the virtual machines, but uh, it was consuming around like a 1.6 GB. In the bare metal, it's going to be consuming way lesser when compared to the uh, virtual machines. And also the user experience will be uh, much better in the uh, bare metal when you install it on the real hardware. So these are all the process running right now. And it's consuming like a 2.1 GB. And let's check about the application. Here is the version 1.5.7. And let's close everything. And uh, I already installed the fast fetch, so I'm just going to show you. So here is our fast fetch installed. So OS, it says like a Subuntu, the code name, which I already mentioned, it's a plucky pluffin and I'm running it on the virtual box. The kernel you get is the 6.11.0.8. Let me show you that kernel. So the kernel version here is the 6.11, which is uh, end of life. And the latest table version or the LTS version is right now is 6.12.7. So here is the, like a main lines table and long term and everything. So if you don't know that you just need to click on the releases and here you should be seeing all the kernel information if uh, the kernel says like a 6.12 here is the lts version so they are going to provide the long term uh, description here and if it says like a rc it's a release candidate or the pre-patch mainline stable so you get all the information here of the kernel and uh, i'm going to first show you the downloading process so you just need to type in like a Ubuntu or whatever the Ubuntu flavor you want. Again, this is a development build. It's not the stable ISO or the beta version. It's in the development stage. It should have some bugs or issues. Right now, I didn't see any issues, but the task manager was uh, uh, the task manager fonts were completely missing. So it's better to try it in the virtual machines if you want to try it. Don't try it in the main PC or work PC. I already mentioned it. It's just an educational video. Don't try it uh, because it's going to ruin your PC if it's uh, your main PC or work PC. Try it in the virtual machines if you want. And just type in like a Subuntu daily build and the first link will be obviously the uh, official website. So you should be seeing the Subuntu 25.04. You can pronounce it however you want. I'm pronouncing like a Subuntu. And the code name you should be seeing the plucky pluffin. And uh, in front of it, you should be seeing the daily build. And the file size is around like a 4.1 GB. This is the ISO file. Just click on it and it should be downloaded uh, in a few seconds. So here is the ISO file. I'm running it on the virtual machine and also I'm using VPNs and everything. So it's going to be a bit of slow, but you should be getting the ISO file very quickly. So that was the uh, some information. And when you go to the about semicolon support, when you type it in the browsers, you can just only type it in the Firefox browsers. And here you should be seeing the version you get the 133.0.3 and also the versions will be completely changing until the stable release is released because uh, it's a daily build it will be updated daily so whatever the applications are updated so you should be seeing the updated applications until the stable release so it's just like a, a for it's just like a for educational purpose video i'm trying uh, the things what are new or how it's going to perform i usually do in my previous videos also of the older versions so uh, about the memory size i'm using 8 gb of ram the available ram will be around like a 3.7.7 uh, 7 gb 
and the disk space will be 3.8 GB. Here is some browser information which is clearly unnecessary for the video but if anything is important here you can just pause the video and read everything. So here is the Mesa you don't get the 24 version you get the 23.2. So the latest version is around like a 24 point something like that. I made like a previous video so I, I really don't remember those things so you should be seeing all those information and uh, the x11 window protocol is the x11 desktop environment is the xfc which is the latest xfc version which is 4.20 if you want any information about the xfc 4.20 i already made the youtube shorts if you don't want to watch the youtube shorts you can just type in like a xfc 4.20 in the uh, search engine and you should be getting the official website and you should be seeing all the changes in those uh, uh, official website so here is the MESA information, here is my present monitor resolution which is 1920 into 1080 and these are some uh, other Im important information about the browser. It's not the, uh, you don't get all the distro information. I already show, I'm going to show you in the terminal uh, right after this. So if you want any videos, you can just type in like a 24.04 and you should be getting all those videos in my channel. And also I'll be posting daily without missing uh, whether it's a YouTube video or you, whether it will be YouTube shorts or maybe community post. I'll be posting daily so keep an eye on the channel or else uh, subscribe and turn on the notification and you should be getting all those information. Let's get back to the video. Uptime it says like a 4 minutes. It's more than 4 minutes because I typed uh, before uh, more than two. it's been like a more than 4 minutes. So I'm going to show you again at the end. And uh, packages are 1889 dpkg and 12 snap. Shell bash version you get the 5.2.37. So the new fetch is ended. So that's the reason I'm using the fast fetch. You just need to type in the uh, sudo app install fast fetch and it will be installed. And what else we have? The desktop environment XFC 4.20. Window manager is right in front of you. Window manager theme is a gray bird. Themes, icons, fonts, cursor, everything is right in front of you. You can just pause the video and read everything. And about the memory consumption, here is the memory consumption. It's going to show you how much percent it's consuming and uh, the disk space and everything will be right in front of you. Now let's go with the INXI-S8 which will grab complete distro information. So let's go with the first system. Uh, host it says like a Subuntu because we are running it as a live boot. So it's going to show you as a Subuntu. Or else it's going to show you like a local host live if you created an account or if you installed it on your hard drive then it's going to uh, show you your name and the kernel version which i already mentioned it's uh, 6.11 and the compiler gcc version you get the latest 14.2.0 desktop environment you get the 4.20 which is xfc which i already mentioned like a three four times gtk version you get the 3.24.43 and xfwm4 version you get the 4.18.0 with the uh, XFC4 and the light DM version you get the 1.3 point or else you can call it like a 1.30. Distro it says like a Subuntu 25.04 plucky plugin and it's based on Ubuntu. And here is like a, a virtual box information which is clearly unnecessary. So I'm just going to go with the only important things. RAM I already mentioned I'm using 8 GB of RAM. The available RAM will be around like a 7.7. .7. It's consuming around 2.5 GB. My CPU i5-1240p is my CPU. About the vulnerabilities flags which is clearly unnecessary for the video. About the graphics here is the graphics. VMWGFX version you get the 2.20.0 and what else we have here display x11 server x Arch version 21.1.14 and what else we have the Mesa I already showed you the Mesa information and here is my present monitor resolution here is the available monitor resolutions and uh, the Mesa version you get the 24.2.8 so here you should be seeing the vendor Mesa version 24.2.8 which is the latest version OpenGL version you get the 4.5 EGL version you get the 1.5 Piper version you get the 1.2.7 and here is like a network and the partitions repos which is clearly unnecessary and the process you should be seeing the 265 uptime it says like a 4 minutes it's more than 4 minutes Compiler GCC version I already mentioned and shell bash version which I already mentioned in each system D version you get the 257 INXA version you get the 3.3.36 now let me type in cat colon slash etc colon slash issue and here you should be seeing Ubuntu plucky plugin so let me type in again the fast fetch 
so here you should be seeing uptime is almost like a 15 minutes and the ram consumption is around like a 1.30 gb so let's close everything and about the installer let me show you the installer and other things everything is working fine i don't see any issues but the only thing when i open the task manager and i tried to install the fast face the uh, process completely uh, went blank screen so it was completely white screen on the task manager so every fonts were missing so that was an issue i faced so i'm running it on the virtual box so that was the issue i don't know how it's going to perform in the vmware usually in the vmware ubuntu and ubuntu flavors will be a, a bad in my point of view or in my pc uh, in other pc it's going to be working fine but in my pc it's going to be completely uh, frozen or maybe the black screen completely uh, shows up on the screen so it doesn't properly work with the ubuntu and ubuntu flowers with the vmware so that's the reason i always choose the virtual box so you get the same installer you don't get any changes in the installation maybe in the future they should be providing all those information and when we click on next it took a bit of time here i'm going to click on next same thing so you get the new ubuntu installer you don't get any older installer you get the new installer so you already know how to use the minimal or the full desktop click on next and if you want to install third parties and download and install the support for additional media formats you can do that click on next so if you want to go with the single boot if you want to go with the dual boot you can do whatever you want here when you click on next here you should be creating the user account so you already use the older version of the ubuntu and ubuntu flavors you get the same installer so there is nothing change in it and now let's check about the uh, appearance or the themes or whatever the wallpapers we get and right now it's not properly uh, showing the so when i clicked on the mouse it doesn't properly work so there are some minor issues so that's the reason i always say it's better to uh, try it in the virtual machines instead of the main pc or work pc so in the backgrounds you don't get any backgrounds or anything you just get the same things so they they didn't add anything in the wallpaper section maybe in the future they're going to be adding all those things and about the panels here is the panels and if you want to customize the panel you can customize the panel so it's xfc you can customize anything you want here and according to your wish and here is the edit applications same thing customize according to wish and do whatever you want here and about the pre-installed applications you get the same pre-installed applications they didn't add anything here so you get the gimp and uh, what else we have some uh, library office and everything i don't want to open all those things and show you because you should be seeing all the updates throughout the uh, stable release so it will be a waste of time to show all the applications and about the experience it is having like a it's smooth but it it's taking a bit of time to open few applications so that was the issue i'm facing right now so other than that it's pretty much working without any issues uh just the few minor issues and what else we have here so i think i covered everything i guess and about the app center you should be seeing the same older installer of uh sorry the older app center which we saw in the 25.04 sorry 24.04 and uh, 24.10 so here is about you still get the app center version 1.0.0 maybe there will be some updates in the future right now i don't have any information or anything like that if i get any information i'm going to provide all those things in the community post or maybe i'll be making a youtube shorts or maybe a youtube video also so this was the video of the Ubuntu 25.04 if you want to try it you can try it in the virtual machines if you are a normal user or a new linux comer don't even try it in the main pc or work pc so if you are a linux tester or a distro hopper you can try it in the virtual machines and do let me know in the comment section if there was any ma major issues or anything like that by making of this video i didn't see any of the issues or anything just a minor issues other than that nothing so it's a pos positive opinion from me and i already made the older flavors not the older flavors uh, the same versions of a different uh, different uh, distros like a lubuntu and everything so i'll be making all the ubuntu and ubuntu flavors so if you want to subscribe you can subscribe and uh, turn on the notifications other than that i'll see you in tomorrow's video so let me show you the logout screen and i'm going to end the video so you don't get any passwords or anything you just need to click on the login 
And about the sessions, you get the XFC session, the XFC session VLAN and the Ubuntu session. So you can choose whatever you want. So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.